right, you guys, go ahead and keep that energy going for your next comedian. Go ahead and start clapping right now for Chris Raves. I'm a little shook. Someone backstage just said I looked like the Tiger King if you raised mushrooms. <laughs> Do y'all know what a spermologist is? I just learned this. A spermologist is somebody that studies trivial facts. Like the people that write questions on Jeopardy are spermologists. I thought it was a cum doctor. <laughs> I, I thought so too. Turns out that's a jizzicist. Yeah. Unless they went to medical school, then it's a jizzician. Uh, you can still make a good living as a jizzician's assistant if you don't. Just do the two year course. Hey, hey. So fun thing about me is I was in the Backstreet Boys. Yep, I got kicked out for selling Aaron Carter cocaine. Yeah, Nick was the cute one, Joey was the cool one, Chris was the broke one, that's me. I didn't get any of those royalties. It was actually over creative differences because I wanted it this way. <laughs> I love your hair. Your hair, the rainbow hair. Are you toxic? No? Damn it. You know, like poisonous frogs. I love toxic women. That's just something about me. You like gauges? Yeah? You ever tasted gauges? Yeah. Tastes just like regular jizz. I thought it tastes different. You know, I thought it'd be effervescent or like have a hint of flavor, like a cum flavored white claw, but we're all the same on the inside. Yeah. Just depends on your diet. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I actually wasn't a Backstreet Boy. I was a big emo kid. Yeah. And now I'm like 37. I'm going through my chemical midlife crisis up here. You can't tell. My sister makes fun of me. She called me hair starting to fall out boy. <laughs> yeah. You remember that song they sang? Yeah. I'm bending down, down, picking things off the ground. And sugar, it hurts when I'm leaning. I feel a shooting pain like a bullet. A lower back muscle, I think I pulled it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I always get that mixed up for aching back Sunday. I'm a big fan of gender-neutral bathrooms. They haven't gotten here yet, but... I think regardless of your uh, gender identity or sexual orientation, we should all be able to do cocaine in the same stall like God intended. Right? It's in the Bible. Book of Escobar, chapter 13, verse 8. As above, so do blow. God said it. So I was a pretty dumb kid. I used to think that women uh, peed blue. I used to think that it was blue. I didn't know what a maxi pad was. I just saw these commercials. They're pouring this blue stuff on what looks like half a diaper. I just thought you couldn't hold it and it was blue, you know? And I go into the bathroom sometimes after my mom had been in there and the water was blue. Just thought she was trying to save money on the water bill, you know? If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's blue, let it stew, right? So, uh, I'll leave y'all on this. Uh, y'all know Pluto's a planet again? Yeah. Hell yeah, right? OG number nine. Uh, I'm, I don't know what makes a planet a planet. I'm no astro jizzicist or anything, but... <laughs> like, is it a planet after six weeks when it has a heartbeat, or does it gotta go around the sun? Well, I'm Chris Reeves. Thank you so much. Chris Reeves, everybody.